Sometimes the thing that we need to change our life is right in front of us, right in front of us, in plain sight, and we just don't see it. In this video today, I'm going to share with you a story of a big company that made a multi-billion dollar mistake and how we tend to do the same thing that really holds us back from reaching our true potential, living our best life. What up, folks? Jimmy here, Ingrain the Train, back again. Some more heat for you guys. And I just want to say thanks again for all you who, who are checking in, helping the channel grow, getting more subscribers daily. People are sharing the content. I love it. Uh, if you're new here, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification button. Support the channel. Comment below. Definitely help me grow this channel. You know, my mission here is to help out as many people as I can live their best life. Okay, so ingrained to train, you know, it's all about ingraining a lifestyle. And I'm not talking about just physical training, but we're talking mental training, spiritual, emotional, all the above is about living your best life. Strong mind, strong body, and vice versa. So I was actually studying businesses here recently, as I as I like to do, and I want to share a story about a juggernaut in the industry, a juggernaut, the big boys who made a billion dollar mistake. And the worst part about this mistake was they still had all the power to remain on top, but they didn't see it. And now they're pretty much, you know, they went bankrupt in 2012. And oh, how it could have been so different for them. And what am I talking about? Kodak. Those of you who know photography, those Kodak, they were they, they were the king of photography. You know, we you know, I'm in my 30s, so I remember the Polaroid cameras and you know taking the film to Walgreens to get it developed. And you know, you got the net, you know, got your photos back, you got the negatives and all that, all that cool stuff. And you know, Kodak, they they were at the top, they were the cream of the crop. If you were photography, you do Kodak. Well, 2012, Kodak filed for bankruptcy. The big boys, the juggernauts, they were the top of the world in photo. They filed for bankruptcy. And they still exist, but they, they you know, they sold to the company to a third party. I, I, I think they, they're trying to bring back Polaroids. It's a cool little like, um, cool little thing that I see kids do nowadays. Um, you know, they got the little mini uh, Polaroids now, but they're not the cream of the crop in the industry anymore. They're, they're essentially gone. Well, what happened? Well, the story with Kodak, well, what? I, I, let me backtrack. What killed Kodak was digital photography, right? Now we have, we have 4K cameras in our pocket on our cell phones now. Like digital photography killed film. And when digital photography started to gain traction, all the C-level executives they were like, nope, nope, digital, it's a, it's a fad. Film is better. Film quality, the picture quality is better, the color is better. Like all the C-level executives, these smart guys running the billion dollar company, all said, agreed that digital photography was a fad and that film was here to stay. And then look what happened. Look what happened, right? Digital cameras became popular, then we got the technology on cell phones, and now you can't even go out to eat at a restaurant anymore without taking a picture of the food. Every Everybody's a photographer now, everybody's a model now, everybody's taking selfies and pictures. And I was downtown Chicago earlier this summer, and I saw somebody filming themselves walking, they must have been vlogging or something, they had a selfie stick, but this person even looked across the street, which in Chicago, if you ever been to Chicago, you know that's a bad move. <laughs> they will run you over and keep driving. They do not care in the city. So, I mean, that's just the, the, the world we live in. They really dropped the ball on that. And what makes this story even worse, guess what company developed the first digital camera? Kodak. Kodak 
1976, 75 or 76, one of their engineers, one of their guys, developed the first digital camera. And they opted not to utilize it. They were stuck in their ways. Think about that for a second. The product that put them out of business, their engineer is the one that created it. It was right in their lap. It was right in their lap. They had it. They had the first digital camera. They had the technology. They had it in plain sight. And somebody else took advantage of it. They didn't adapt and now they're gone. In plain sight. I can't think about that one for a second. You, you had a company who was the cream of the crop, top of the chain, they got killed by technology that they created, but they didn't take advantage of it. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. How many times in our lives did we have the solution to what we were working towards right in front of us, but we didn't take advantage of it? We didn't utilize it. And somebody else did. Missed opportunity. Maybe we were talked out of it by family or friends who just didn't understand. We got caught up in some groupthink, or maybe that we didn't value that uh, the thing that was presented to us like Kodak did. They didn't value the, the, the new technology, so they didn't roll with it. They want to stay stuck in their ways. You want to you know, kind of fall into what's, what's comfortable with you, what you're used to doing. But think about that for a second. How many times have you fell into that trap of there's a solution to your problem, but you didn't execute on it. And it wound up making things harder for you or keep you right where you're at. I know I've done it. I think we're all guilty of it. Um, hidden in plain sight. So my big takeaway from the story is this. One, you adapt or die. You have to be open to change. You have to be open to innovation. You have to be open to something different, especially when it comes to technology, because things change, especially in this world, changes very quickly very rapidly. And if you're not getting on the train, you're gonna get left behind. So you have to be open to change. Think about all the, you know, blockbuster videos, another one, you know, when they got killed by Netflix, they weren't open to change. And then video streaming put them out of business. And the thing was, they had a chance to buy them out. <laughs> Redbox, they had a chance to buy Redbox out. Netflix, like, they had a chance, they were at the top. They didn't innovate, they thought that these things were fads and then they wound up going out of business. So you gotta be able, you gotta be willing to adapt, adapt, adapt and evolve. Also, you have to be willing to have an open mindset. Nothing will kill your goals and dreams faster than a closed mindset. You gotta understand the way our brains work. We want to feel like we're right. Our, you know, our brain just wants to feel like we're right all the time. And what happens is when you get so caught up in a belief system that just subconsciously, you're gonna look for things to justify and fight for that belief, even if it's false information. I see it all the time in the fitness space. People will argue with me all the time to hold on to a belief of things that are not true, simply because they believe it. And they go find some pseudoscience scientific article of some woke person who knows nothing about nutrition or exercise. Be like, see, well, this person said da 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 da. And I'm like, well, that's not true. They just said it in an intelligent way, but it, what's, you know, what they said is still garbage, right? So you gotta have an open mind. You have to be willing to have a, a different perspective on what you believe in. And that's a good thing. Let, let somebody else challenge your belief system. Yeah, it may sting initially, but when you understand the other side, you can use their knowledge plus your knowledge, bring it together and come up with something pretty dope. So you gotta have an open mind. And then just to piggyback off that point, this is where I believe coaching and mentorship really plays a big role. Because I always say you can't see the picture if you're the one in the frame. I'll say, you can't see the picture if you're the one in the frame. So again, your, your brain wants to believe that it's right. It wants to prove itself right. So what happens is you, you see things through a lens that's biased. 
when you get a coach or a mentor or outside eyes who, who can challenge you or hold you accountable to your beliefs or ask deeper, deeper level questions, now you can start to open your mind to new possibilities or different angles of what you're thinking. And that's how you evolve, you grow, you can adapt. But if you just wanna stay stuck in your ways, like these big companies do, you pay the price, you pay the price. So you wanna make sure that you, you, have, you have some outside eyes on what you're working on or what you're doing or just even in your personal life. Get some sort of coach, mentor, accountability partner, get an outside perspective that's only gonna help you out. Okay, so you want to you want you want you want to have an open mind. Get want to get the coach. You want to get the outside eyes on you. You want to be willing to adapt and evolve. This is how you're gonna to get to that next level in your life. Cause think about it, everything you've done to this point has gotten you where you're at. Everything you've done to this point has gotten you your current results. So if you keep doing the same thing, what do you think's gonna change? If everything you've done to this point has got you where you're currently at and you probably want a little bit more than where you're currently at. Well, what's got to change? That's where the help comes in. That's where you that's where you adapt, that's where you evolve, that's where you say, "Oh, you know what? I can I can tweak this. I can I can do this differently or maybe this is a waste of time or maybe I'm not so good at this. Let me pay somebody, an expert to help me in this lane so I can focus on this strength." That's how you're going to grow. That's how you're going to get to the next level. Don't make the billion dollar mistake. And we all make it. Don't think it's just these big companies. We all make the same mistake. And guys, let me tell you, when you open your mind up, a lot of times you will see that the answer that you're looking for is already in front of us. Sometimes we think that we have to hit the lotto. We got to have this huge epiphany moment, this you know crazy event to happen that's really going to be the turning point in our life. But a lot of times when you peel the layers back, it's just one simple shift. And it was there the whole time. It was there the entire time. Tony Robbins built a huge life coaching business around this. When you go to his seminar, he doesn't have you looking at the external. That's why it's called, you know, his most popular, Unleash the Power Within. He always says everything that you have to be great is already within you. You just have to remove the blocks, remove the limiting beliefs to get that power about you. So again, a lot of times, what you're looking for is in plain sight. Okay, so I hope that gives you some encouragement because a lot of times people are down, they can't figure things out. Just know that you're you're closer to that solution than you realize. You just may need you just may need a little little perspective and a little, a little outside help. Um, nothing wrong with getting help. Nothing wrong with getting coached, but you have to be open to. The message that you you know you're going to receive be open to it and then evolve so i hope that helps if you like the video again comment hit the like button hit the subscri subscribe button hit the notification button and even further share the video guys share the video helps help a friend out somebody needs this message my goal again is to help as many people as i can and again i can't do it by myself the more, uh, more people I reach, the more people I can help. And I appreciate all you guys ever. Appreciate you chiming in. And until next time, I'm checking out.